Uh, welcome back to Danny Harris Arch in part five of this brown trout wood carving project. As you can see, I've already got the, the carving prepped and ready for painting. And what I've done off camera was I took lacquer and lacquer thinner mixed in a 50-50 ratio. And what that does by mixing it so thin is it allows it to soak into the wood really fast and it dries really fast. But I did let it set up overnight and then I gave it a real light sanding and then gave it a coat of gesso and I let that set up overnight so now it's ready to paint. But what I'll be doing in this segment is I'm going to be using pigment powders and along with airbrush paints to, uh, to put on the local colors, the local base colors. And then part six coming up, I'll be using, I'll be doing a lot of hand detail work. So uh, I'm going to turn the camera around here and get started. But first, I want to take just a quick second to remind everyone that I'm going to be giving away this four piece cuts all burr set from Bearwood Supply Company. And I'm going to be giving away this color pencil sketch for trout that I did just before I started this project. All you have to do to win is to be a subscriber and leave me comments in the comments section. And if you're new to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing and that way you can be entered to win as well. So uh, after I finish this part five, uh, I will use a random generator to pick a winner and, or pick two winners. And then in part six, I will announce the, the winners who won. So I'm gonna turn the camera around here and get started. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I've, I studied a lot of uh, reference photos and I saw a little segment of uh, Rick Crane of uh, Angler's Artistry. Um, he had a brown trout series, painting series, and I bought it. And I liked some of the tips and, and techniques he used, but I'm not gonna use very many of them, mainly because I don't use the type of paint that he uses. And um, and I don't, he uses a lot of pigment powders, which I'll be using on this. But he started off using silver uh, aluminum pigment powder to coat the fish, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna use uh, this um, Createx silver to start the base on. And then I'll be using the uh, um, pigment powders to add depth and color to it. So I'm gonna start this here. I'm just taking this silver. I'm just coming up to about the lateral line. I'm just spraying some pearlized, just some white pearl on the on the belly belly here. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this uh, this Deco Art Metallics. This is a metallic gold, and uh, it's called Splendid Gold. And I'm going to go over the top back and give it just a little bit of a, a gold hue across the top there. And I'm not trying to get an even color on there. I want this kind of spotted, mottled. Because I'm going to be building up colors over the top of this. I 
ahead and give a light dusting on these fans. I'm going to be building up the color on those as well. I want just a little bit of silver left in the center here. All right, so I've been experimenting with a little bit. Most of these paints that I use are pretty opaque. And to get, I need them to be some of them to need to be transparent. So I've got a couple products here that I've used in the past for just acrylic painting. But I got a flow medium and then I got a glazing medium. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna, uh, it's gonna act also as a reducer uh, the flow medium and it's also going to uh, the glazing medium is going to give it a little bit of transparency so I'm going to mix a little bit together and what I'm getting ready to put on here now is since I got the gold on here I'm going to put some yellow ochre down on the bottom here and I'm going to mix it with the flow medium and the glazing medium to uh, make it flow well I'm probably going to mix more than what I need, like I always do. Oh, that's got a lid on it. And then a little bit of this glazing medium. Give it just a little bit of transparency that I'm looking for. Mix it up. consistency here and then I'm gonna load the airbrush with it So I'm going to go down here on the bottom and put some yellow ochre here on the bottom. Just turn around here where y'all can see it. So what I've done here is I mixed up some olive green. I put just a little bit of this 
uh, yellow ochre in there to lighten it up some. So I'm just gonna go down the top of the back here. Make sure I don't have any paint on my hands. So I'm just gonna spray down the top here to get that olive, little bit of olive green on there. And I'm just going light, light, light. that dry a little bit and then I'm gonna start um, I'm gonna darken it up just a little bit more and let it uh, torch building up just finally made me a little holding stick <laughs> to use I, this has been a good Thing base to hold it on but sometimes I need it to move and it's harder to move that so I just added a hole there that I could put this piece down in when I'm uh, and I could still use this when I need to so but anyway so what I've done here is I've made up some I didn't have any Payne's gray so I just kind of made up some Payne's gray with some black and uh, some deep blue added a little bit of uh, olive green in it and I'm just gonna go over and kind of darken this back a little bit here what real dark here just yet For those of you that don't know paint gray is a real deep gray it's almost black but it has a blue tint to it and blue over this yellow will make a green color if you're doing it in light layers, which is what I'm doing. But I also added some olive green to it just to kind of tint it just a little bit. So it's just a little bit darker. I'm gonna go a little darker yet, but uh, so I'm gonna use some uh, pigment powders to kind of give it a little bit of sheen down here. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm taking this gold and I'm just kind of brushing it in here along this bottom, below the lateral line. on the cheeks get it too high up there and some of this will be covered up with the uh, you, know, you probably can't see that it's just giving a little sheen a little golden sheen a little shimmer there and I'll spray it with um, matte polyurethane to kind of kill it and well, to set it and it'll also kind of kill some of that uh, sheen to it All right, so I've got the gold on there and I'm gonna put a little bit of this uh, find it here
this is some pretty good stuff. I like this stuff. Uh, this mica, mica powder. This is a uh, majestic gold. And this is a uh, super bright aluminum. And it is probably the most silver silver that I've used. I bought that back when I worked on the uh, Atlantic Sounding Project. If y'all haven't seen that, you can check it out. I'm, not, I'm just going to kind of put this in uh, I just I'm not gonna I'm not gonna smooth it out I just want the hint of that orange in there And I might have to do this a couple times. <sighs> if I get the orange that I want. So I'm gonna spray this with some, uh, and I'm just using Minwax polyacrylic, it's a water based, super fast drying, and I'm using a clear mat because I don't want to build up gloss on it. So I'm going to do that off camera and then, uh, and then I'll do, add another layer on. All right, so I've sprayed this to set that orange and silver or gold on there. So I'm going to put just a I'm gonna add some more of this orange. Like I say, I want it kind of spotchy. I don't want it to be a complete. Um, even coverage. And this is just adding layers. Transparency, just layers and layers of color on here. I need to add some gold back in here under the eye. Spray that. I don't know if you can tell that building up or not. I may do it one more time just because I want some more of that orange to kind of show up on there. All right, so I'm going to take some of the silver now. lightly give this little area right in here some, just a little bit of silver Maybe a little bit. 
bit through the cheek here. reference photos. Give that a spray and let it dry a few minutes and I'll come back and probably start putting spots on. I'm gonna take some of this true blue and I'm gonna put just a little bit of blue in the cheeks and maybe the slightest little mist over this silver here. Just so that I can, uh, because it has a little bit of a blue in the cheeks there. And I just want a tiny little bit. Actually, might need to be a little bit bluer than, I mean, a little bit lighter than that. I'm just giving a tiny little mist of blue over that silver. There's a, if you look at the reference photos, there's always a little bit of blue on the cheeks there. Not always, but in most species, there's some blue in the cheeks and just a tiny hint of blue in that silver area there. But it needs to be a little bit lighter on that cheek, so I'm gonna put this uh, back over this cheek with silver a little bit. Because that was a little too dark. I don't know that lightened it up quite a bit. But. I'm gonna mix up, I got some lighter, it's a metallic turquoise, it's a light blue that I'm gonna put on there. I think it'll look better on there. So get this dry here and then I'll be right back. Plain forgot that I had this sky blue pearlex powder that I should have used on these cheeks. I'm gonna tap in a little bit of it here. Oh, that's much better. I forgot I had that. <laughs> so I did paint spots and halo zone and a couple of other little minor details, but this video was running a little bit long, so I decided to include that in part six coming up. 
but I did do a 60 second short and it's in the shorts tab so check that out and if you don't mind uh, give it a like and share maybe but uh, in the meantime I'm going to give you a real quick sneak peek of it here and test your uh, paw skills and here it comes three two one did you see it <laughs> all right all right, that's going to be it for part five of this brown trout wood carving project. I got everything done in this segment that I wanted to do. And all that's left now is to hand paint all the details and scale taping. So I hope you'll join me in part six coming up for that. If you're new to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing. And if you like these videos, be sure and hit that thumbs up and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of new projects coming up in the future here. I also remind you that this is the last video that you can be qualified to win this four piece cuts all burr set from Bearwood Supply Company and and or the uh, brown trout color pencil sketch that I did. So uh, all you have to do to win is to be a subscriber and leave me a comment. You can leave comments in the previous videos in this set in this series also to win but this is the last one you'll have a chance to win in. So part six coming up. At the end of part six, I'll draw for, um, use the random generator to draw two winners for the, the, the two items. So I appreciate you guys watching and part six coming up, we'll be hand painting all the detail and scale tipping. So hope you'll join me.